Hey everybody, Ice Bigley here, and um, do another I eat weird crap video because it's the internet. Uh, and as you've seen on the title card, <clears throat> before you clicked on my video, I have four Jones sodas, Halloween flavored Jones sodas, which are in no particular order other than that's how I'm picking them up. Candy corn featuring a Wolfman. A purple vampire, which is blood orange. Why purple and have it be orange? Or blood orange and it be red? Whatever. Logic. Uh, a decaying zombie featured on the caramel apple flavor. And a Frankenstein's monster, red licorice. Now, a little story about these Jones sodas here is that they were not originally, they each came in a four pack of cans. So I had to buy four, four packs in order to get one of each. So things I do, you know, hope, but the thing is because, it, you know, it was after Halloween, they were on cheap at Target. So that's where I got them. I, I don't know why they weren't in a multi-pack together like they used to do with the bottles. I don't know what's going on with Joan Soda now. Also, I don't, probably weren't able to tell uh, what it was in the, the thumbnail there. But the milk there is the peaches and cream, uh, promised land dairy, peaches and cream milk. <clears throat> now, this does not click because I, my battery ran out before I was even able to taste this. <laughs> we'll say that it has no smell, which is odd for being peach flavored milk. <clears throat> I do have a I am getting over a cold, so there's still mucilage going on there. And cold and milk usually don't mix for me, for obvious reasons. But hopefully uh, flavor will win out. So try the milk first. Again, no smell. It's, it's more sweet. It's almost like a um, like a strawberry milk, but just sweetness. The peach is very subtle. It's almost like an aftertaste. It's kind of odd. <clears throat> now, I don't, this is two percent milk. It's thick. I don't know if you've ever gotten like Nesquik uh, strawberry in like little bottles or whatever. It's like almost that thick. It's thicker than normal two percent milk, which is kind of weird. So I. Drink 2% on a regular basis, somewhat regular basis. Yeah, you know, I'm going to shake it up. I mean, pe the peach is there, but it's very, very, very faint. It's more sweet than it is peach flavor. It's almost like those, um, I don't know if you've ever gotten like muscle milk or something like that. It's very thick. Not getting much out of that. Now, out of the Jones sodas, let me see. Uh, I think I'll try blood orange first. That seems to be more pedestrian of the uh, of the flavors. the color of uh, like Canada Dry's Cranberry Ginger Ale. Not too sweet. And if you remember the commercial, give me a comment in the comment box. Uh, yeah, so that's what that looks like. Just smells like orange soda. Orange pixie sticks, like carbonated, which went in like the fizz is like way too much. I mean, it's not like over carbonated, but it's just like you know, it's sort of bite you get in. Actually, hold on, yeah, it's like a bad energy drink almost, 
or an energy drink. Except not as salty. Okay, get that one out of the way. And red licorice featuring Frankenstein's monster. Or straight up Frankenstein, which both are correct. I'm not going to argue with anybody. <clears throat> This one, as you can clearly see, is red because it's red licorice. Smells like cream soda. Did you see my my last uh, I wear crap video? Yeah, I'm kind of cream soda, I'm done with cream soda, but. It's it's like cream soda with a hint of Twizzlers. Like if you took a bag of Twizzlers and soaked it in a two liter bottle of cream soda, that's what it smells like. <clears throat> See what it tastes like. Everything has an aftertaste. Is where where most of the flavor is coming up on, on this. It's more like um, instead of the taste wise, it's more like if you took Twizzlers, like a single Twizzler, and melted it down and mixed it in with like a thing of uh, seltzer water. Or cold soda. Now, <clears throat> let's see, do caramel apple next with the zombie with the eye popping out there. Sprayed. <clears throat> Smells like apple. Give it that much. Ooh, this one has a nice. Uh, Odd gold color, not not exactly apple. Like I've had apple soda before, which was a lot clearer than this. This is more like a a darker darker uh, apple, almost like apple cider, more or less. Actually, this smell like sort of like uh, caramel apple. It's got that fake apple smell, but it's a uh, Got caramel riding shotgun on that smell, so in the back seat though. Doesn't taste anything like caramel apple. It doesn't taste like apple hardly. It's like it's faint. I mean, it's like a little bit of apple, but it's it, the caramel apple total flavor is, is very faint. You let me down, Jones Soda. You guys used to be good here with the, you know, turkey and gravy and uh, Brussels sprout and a lot of other stuff that was completely disgusting. Cranberry one was really good though, but uh, you let me down, man. And, it, you know, it, 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 all the Christmas stuff is in stores already and, you know, no Jones soda pack. So, <clears throat> this is a candy corn with the, uh, well, I can't throw up on it. You're welcome, Google. It's sort of a golden orange color. Caramel corn, I guess, you know, yeah, they have that, you have yellow and orange and white, so, yeah. It has a hint, a very, very faint hint of uh, caramel corn f smell, so. Cream soda. It's like cream soda with a hint of uh, caramel corn. J 
Jones Soda. What the smeg? You guys let me down here. He, he's supposed to either turn my stomach or make me go, ooh, that tastes exactly like it says on the tin. But you guys dropping the ball here. So I have my, my, my tiny measurement cut back. I'm going to do the, the, the remix here. Red licorice, the bloody orange. Please forgive me, UK, for cussing. The caramel apple. They want to have fun. You put a bunch of these in a, you know, in a tub with filled with water and have people bob for those. That'll be really. And candy corn. I probably goofed up and said caramel corn a couple of times like a tard. So. There it is. It looks like uh, something. <laughs> kind of gross looking if you ask me. Sort of reddish. Uh, it's like uh, it's like if you mix apple juice and cranberry, but not crane apple, mind you, or crapple as I call it. <clears throat> I've had this before. I don't know what it was, but I've had it. be an energy drink I've had it tasted like this. Perhaps Blue Ox, oddly enough, and of course once I start making videos on a regular basis, you know, that's been long gone, that wonderful energy drink, which obviously was only named Blue Ox because of Red Bull, but <clears throat> uh, it's not bad. I mean, I've had worse. And I know what you're thinking. And yes, I'm going to do it. Pardon. Because I'm a disgusting person than I am. I hope this doesn't overflow. That looks yummy. Oh, it's separating. I better drink it fast then. That's actually pretty good. I'm quite surprised at that. It's separating. This is like all foam right here. And like all the milk particles are, or the fat in it, I guess. It looks like a seat, like a sponge. Like I filled a cup with a sponge. There is literally like a skin <laughs> on the top. Of, I don't know what the heck that is. A foam or. Some kind of schmutz. Actually, it's not that bad. It looks disgusting, but. What it reminds me of is, as, uh, I don't know if you've ever been a kid. Well, and of course you have, but drink a soda and then drink milk on top of that or the other way around. There's something with the heaviness of, the, of, of milk with the carbonation. In the stomach, it just sits there and is like, it's this odd feeling. That's what it feels like drinking this. So not only do you have the wonderful throffy whatever this may get on top of here, uh, and I, I have to show this up, up close to you guys because I don't know if you can see that too well. It's like particles. 
That is kind of gross. <laughs> but it's tasty. <laughs> it's gross but tasty. It's like a Dr. Dreadful uh, you know thing here except for you know it worked. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. But anyway, I, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna shotgun this. I think that's a proper term. I don't know. We can get all those particles. Oh my goodness, that's nasty looking. Yeah, it's fizzing up more. I gotta tell you what this looks like. Because I might not want to drink it. Actually, it's almost like a root beer float. Or a Coke float. That's what the flavor is reminding me of here. Which makes sense. Soda and milk products, dairy, you know. Makes sense. It's a very disgusting looking float. That's what it is. Okay, then. That's it. Um, folks, pretty soon. Keep your eyes open. The next video I'm going to do, which I don't know when it's going to be, but when I do it, I am uh, looking into getting a, a P.O. box. So if anybody has uh, things that they want to send me, uh, they will be able to do so. I'm looking into it. I haven't done it yet. You will be made aware of when that happens. And then... Uh, you know, any unopened containers will be uh, will be welcome. I will also be posting. I do have a uh, a food wish list on Amazon, which is compiled from things from other websites as well. Uh, so you can use that, or you can send stuff directly to the PO. So, <clears throat> with that said, uh, thank you for tuning in once again to my little Rudy Poo show. And I will see you in the next one.